it's Lottie. Today we are in my big binder and as you may know, 80s is having a comeback on the 1st of March, which is next Monday. I already have a set pre-ordered and I'm going to order another set of three from Catch Up CD on day of release. So I should have an unboxing up relatively quickly. It depends on how fast FedEx are shipping. But today we're going to be setting up my binder. If you can't tell by my username or you are just new, I collect Yuno. You know, he is my old of alts and I collect all his album cards. And then for special cards, 80s is really expensive to collect. So what I decided to do, especially this year, is calm down on the amount of special cards I get. So as for now, I'm only planning to get six of the special cards. I mean, six is still a lot, but I don't want to go completely broke on this. I'm already buying two sets of albums. I'm a student. I'm unemployed. We're not even going to talk about it. <laughs> but yes, I'm going to be setting up my binder. I have a fresh nine pocket here. I'm going to be talking about the album details. I've got it up on my laptop next to me. I don't have an iPad like other collectors so I can like put it on screen and show you and be fancy. We will just get into it. So I downloaded the high quality versions of the album details from Fan Cafe. So there is photo card random one each of 14. So obviously Mingi isn't in this comeback. So one out of 14, which means there's two per member and the versions are A, Z and Diary. So they've gone kind of back to what they used to do with an A and a Z version, but then they've added in the Diary version from Fever Part 1. I mean, they're all you know. So I'm just going to write A version 1 and A version 2. I wish KQ would get out of this one card per album, but then not have enough cards to get the full set from a set of albums. So at the moment I've got A versions one and two. They also have decided to do a limited photo card and it doesn't say that it's like the, the Polaroids, which are like not in every single album. I think they're in, first press only so as i have pre-ordered i should be able to get them and there's only one per album version so i'm gonna write a version limited so that's it for the a version onto the what is this yellow one the diary version is the yellow one i'll just write diary and it's the same setup as the a version so last time in Fever Part 1, we had two photo cards for the Thanks version, two photo cards for the Inception version, but only one photo card for the Diary version. And that photo card was an awful photo card. It was just white and I didn't see the point in it. I really hope that it's not that situation again. I want the selfie photo cards back so bad. So I'll just write Diary 1 and 2. Like, I don't mind AR cards, I just want selfies, man. Because if there's any chance of me getting a black hair lip piercing you know photo card, I want it to be a selfie and not a far away card where I have to squint to see him. I would please like it to be a selfie so I can die in peace. So then we have the limited photo card as well which is one of seven so i'll just write diary limited and then it's the same setup for the z version so i will just speed through that quickly So that is it for the album cards and there are nine cards this time. This is the biggest amount of cards that ATs have ever had for an album. Last time we had five, the time before that it was two and they've usually had one or two per like era. 
and now suddenly there are nine photo cards if you include the limiteds. So that makes a full page, which makes it easy to set out. For special cards, so if you know KQ at all, you know they are money hungry and they love them a pre-order benefit or a special card. So like la last era, there were seven weeks of fan sign cards, but there were also three My Music Taste cards and there were, oh, there were just cards for everywhere. There were so many, Tokopedia, Apple Music. And I think there is Apple Music again this time, and of course there's NMT cards. But I'm just hoping there's not a lot of fan sign cards, or if there are going to be fan sign cards, I would like them to be different. My plan for the special cards, as I have already a full page of album cards, I am currently planning for six special cards, which will include the MMT, so I'm going to write A version MMT. And then we have the Z and Diary versions. Z version MMT. Why don't I talk whilst I do these? So this morning was the live stream for Kingdom. I literally had a class 9 a.m. till 11, and then at 11, it was the Kingdom stream. And I was literally loading it up as my teacher was still talking and ending the class, I was like, shh, medieval women, shh, 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 80s are on. And the performances were amazing. I did not expect 80s to be first. I think I blacked out through half of the performances. It was a lot. I think my favorites so far are obviously 80s and the boys and stray kids, they just blew it out of the park for me. I loved SF9 as well, but the boys, man, and Stray Kids. Literally no one performs like Stray Kids, The Boys, and 80s. Literally no one can perform like they can. It's it's amazing. So that's all three of the MMTs. And then for the other cards, the only card that I'm not currently in like a group order for or I'm gonna get is the K-Town For You card. But I'm gonna try and buy it. And that should be the only card that I'm buying at the moment because all the others I am in group orders for so hopefully I can get that so two cards left Makestar announced a holographic card and I've never had a holographic card like the the fancy Makestar ones and if they're gonna make one of my ult like I need it so Makestar are actually doing a set of two and it's one normal card and one holographic card. I'm gonna write make star hollow and then the final one is just make star normal card. Can you, can you hear the rain? It's literally a storm out there. I went outside to post something and I had to re-blow dry my hair again. It was ridiculous. That is all of my little placeholders made. I ran out of white sleeves, so I can't like put them in white sleeves and make them look nice, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll get into my binder and start sorting these out. Okay, I'm back. I had to turn the light on because my phone thought it was dark enough to put the flash on. It was weird. And I also color coded my little, they're not even sticky notes, my little placeholders because I don't know, I had the highlighters. I thought it could be cute, but we'll get into my binder and sort everything out. What else has been going on recently? Uh, the track list came out this morning. So we're getting five new songs. We're getting an English version of one of the tracks, which is Take Me Home. And we're also getting a heat topping version of the title track. Interesting. So it's seven tracks, but it's five songs, basically. So go through my Uno collection. Oh my God, the weather is so bad. So that's my favorite part one page. And because this is an album card, I'm gonna put the new album behind these, even though these are the K-Town Fee pre-orders from last era. I only had one nine pocket, which is lucky because I'm literally almost out of them, which is really sad. I think we're gonna go 
A version, diary version, Z version, just because that is the order in which the pictures were on Fan Cafe for the album details. So the A version is the red one, and we're gonna put the first photo card at the top. And I assume the photo cards will be like the same kind of format, kind of like how in these ones they had like far away card and they had a closer card. I assume that if these are like that they'll be the same or if they're selfies they'll just be obviously like different selfies <laughs> so i'm gonna put the first normal photo card here the second normal photo card there and then i'll put the limited in the middle maybe they'll do cards like the album cards from last era for the normal cards and then the limited might be selfies i don't know so i have the limited in the middle Diary one and then diary two at the bottom and then the Z version limited in the middle number one and then number two. So I think it'll look really nice at the end just because it is for once a complete nine pocket. I mentioned in the past we've had less cards like this is the first three albums but it fits on one nine pocket. And since then, the cards have just been slowly increasing until now we have a full nine pocket just for regular album cards and the first press. Then for my special cards, this is my first, you know, special page. And it turns out I have six spots left on this page and I'm thinking about collecting six special cards. So this works out perfectly. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the My Music Taste cards all in one row, but I kind of want the hollow card to be in the middle. So I'm gonna put the MMTs on the bottom row. So A version, diary, and then the Z version. If they look better in a different order, I will just move them around. And I'm gonna put Mixed on Normal, K-Town for you, and then the mixed our holo card. Literally the thought of having a holographic Uno card brings me so much joy. Like I'm so excited to see what they look like. And even Cravity announced a mixed our fan sign and they're having holo cards. So I'm gonna have holo serum as well. <sighs> but anyway, enough about Cravity, we're talking about 80s. I'm so, so excited for the comeback. It honestly did not feel real until the track list came out this morning and I was like oh my god this is really happening like we're getting new music I'm really excited to hear new music from them and I'm super excited to see their performances I hope they don't tire themselves out too much because obviously Kingdom starts on the 1st of April so literally a month after the album comes out and they promote for so long with their albums now I'm just concerned and I'm happy that we don't have to vote for the title track Thank God we don't have to vote for the title track anymore. But obviously Mingi isn't here. We already have a hole in the team. And now they're having a comeback and preparing for Kingdom at the same time. It's kind of worrying, to be honest. And I was thinking last night, it suddenly occurred to me that obviously Mingi is in the album. He's in the songs, but he's just not in the album photos and like the photo cards and such. So who is going to do Mingi's parts? in the stage like is is hong gonna do what he did with some of the other songs that they've performed in the last few months and he's gonna cover both of them or is songhua or yosan gonna step in my plan is very chilled this time i don't think i'm gonna collect a group set like i did for uh fever part one with these pre-order benefits just because it'll feel wrong not to have mingi so yeah, my setup, I have, where'd she go? I have this full page, this row with the version one photo cards, the limited first press cards, and then the second regular album card. Then for special cards, I have the three My Music Taste, uh, Make Star, Normal and Hollow, and the K-Town for your pre-order benefit. Yeah, really, really chilling out this time. I don't want to stress myself because I know I've I'm collecting a lot of other things in the moment as well. For at least a couple weeks, 80s will be my priority. I don't know if I want to do a 
What is Carolyn been doing? It's like a complete my insert album name here collection. I'm I'm really considering doing one of those so I can do like a completing my fever part two collection. I know it's not gonna be as grand because I only collect one member, but it could be it could be a fun video to do, kind of track my progress as I go. Exciting. So hopefully we have a unboxing next week or maybe like the week after but i'm really excited to get trading and to just see ats more i really have missed them that's it for today everyone thank you so much for watching just a small little chill video for you guys today and i'll see you guys next time goodbye